for this uh, evening and bless you and uh, with God's strength for all the rest. Okay, now for everyone, I was one of the mums who vaccinated my children on time. I was not informed and I had to go through having one daughter of asthma, skin asthma and whooping cough. And I only learned only about five years ago that whooping cough is a consequence of pertussis cough and not... Yeah, I just want to say a little bit. Sorry, I know it's pushing. Okay. And then, I have to say this, sorry, because we've got the constitution here and we've got protection. Sorry. Okay. 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 So, okay. Does our Australian Constitution, Commonwealth of Australian Constitution, are you aware that Section 5122.3a, it actually states no civil conscription for medical and dental? <laughs> okay, we have, um, as a lot of you probably are aware, the ABN did try to take the federal government to the High Court of Australia over no jab, no pay. And what we were told by the top constitutional barristers and QCs in the country is that even though this legislation is immoral and unethical, it is not unconstitutional. That section of the Constitution was actually put in as an amendment to protect doctors. Uh, in the 1950s, doctors were being forced to fill out paperwork for dibs. And um, they were wasting so much office time doing that, so they actually got an amendment to the Constitution, Section 51, Part 23A. The civil conscription that it refers to is the civil conscription for doctors to have to fill out paperwork. So it has been tested in court um, a couple of times, but what we are told is that it does not apply to no jab, no pay, or no jab, no pay, because the civil conscription is not to do with medical procedures, it is to do with medical paperwork. This is the unfortunate thing. Unless a Supreme Court Justice interprets it in a different way, which we were told they would not do, and if we were to take it to the High Court without uh, that advice, or against the advice that we received, we'd be looking at a minimum of a half a million dollars and a loss. So we decided to cut our losses and just look at other ways in which we could combat this issue.